so after the spring season follows the upbeat summer season, which is one of my most favorite ones. Depending on how you manage your spring season, which I covered in my full spring guide that you can watch on the card on the top right of the screen. You should have upgraded your tools, got some nice funds to start the new season, managed to complete the bundles and made some progress down the mines. Now we get to start the summer season where we will be covering the crops you would need to focus on in this season, your goals you should have for the season and also all of the bundles you need to complete in the summer season. We'll be starting off with the crops. You should already have some tiles hold which were left from the spring season. This will save you a lot of energy for when you get to plant and water your brand new crops. For the important crops for this season you have the melons, peppers, blueberries, tomatoes and you have some corn, hops, poppies and a few others which you can see on the screen here. As it was with the spring season, my advice is to get one of each of the summer crops planted on your farm. That way you can always have some of the crops if they are needed for something like a request or a bundle item. The needed crops for the community center bundles are tomato, hot pepper, blueberry and melon for the summer crops bundle, 5 golden quality melons and 5 golden quality corn for the quality crops bundle, a poppy for the chef bundle, sunflower for the dye bundle and 10 wheat for the fodder bundle. So you would have to get all of these at least in the summer season, excluding the corn, sunflower and wheat since those you can plant in the fall season as well. The money making crop for your farm in this season should be the blueberries. They mature in 13 days and regrow every 4 days. Every harvest yields 3 blueberries with a 2% chance of more. So that's why these are the best for a higher revenue on the farm. They sell for 50 gold and you would have a net profit of 21 gold per day so you should focus on them. Don't forget to also pay a visit to the traveling merchant every Friday and Sunday in order to find some random items like ancient seeds, bundle items and also a chance to find the red cabbage seed which can be planted in the summer season and it's needed for the dye bundle. These seeds can also drop from monsters in the skull caverns but the chance is around 0.2% so you would have a better chance with the traveling merchant. You would also need to get a few rare seeds from the traveling merchant in order to plant them at the start of the fall season, which will get you a sweet gem berry. Those sell for a lot and one is needed by old master cannoli in the secret woods, which in turn will get you a star drop. This season should be a money maker for you since you need to focus on higher crop numbers, but taking care of these will require a higher leveled watering can and also sprinklers, but not just any sprinklers, you need to focus on the iron sprinklers which are unlocked at level 6 farming, and they require an iron bar, a gold bar and a refined quartz, which you should have plenty of if you went in the mines frequently in the spring season. For crops, you should get a few flowers as well, in order to earn a bit from the bee houses. At this point in time, you should have already started tapping the trees in the spring season, you should have gotten enough maple syrup to craft a few bee houses which will get you flower honey. Flower honey is much more expensive than regular honey and with the artisan profession you will be able to earn a lot more money in the long run. Now for the mines. In this season you should aim for reaching the end level of the mines. Remember to go there on a good luck day since it will give you a chance to find more resources and find a way down faster. If you do this you should get a lot of raw materials like copper, iron and gold ores. Copper can be found from levels 2 to 39, iron from levels 40 to 79 and gold can be found on levels above 80. Gathering them as you progress down will make it easier for you so you don't have to do reruns of the mines all the time. Also if you progress further down you will find a lot of gems which are important for you. Some are for the bundles and some of them are required for the museum collection. My advice is to always get a few of each and then donate them to the museum and the community center. But always keep some as gifts as well. On a side note, remember to visit the saloon often so you don't miss its rotating stock. 
this is a good way to get some powerful buff food for the future endeavors like the mines or skull caverns, or fishing and farming. And before we continue on with fishing, remember that you should at least try to upgrade your house at least once to unlock the kitchen. For this you would need 10,000 gold and 450 wood, which you can spare in the first two weeks of the season. It's not mandatory, but it's really nice to have the kitchen unlocked so you can cook your own food buffs instead of buying them. This upgrade will also allow you to marry, so if you're looking for that special summon early on, it's a must have upgrade for sure. And now, up to fishing. In this season we have quite the fish to catch, starting off with the river fish. If you miss this in the spring season, we can catch them in the summer as well. And they are the sunfish, 6am to 7pm while it's sunny, the shot, 9am to 2am while it's raining, and the catfish, 6am to midnight while it's raining, but only in the secret woods. For the lake fish, we have carp, which can be found anytime, and sturgeon, found 6am to 7pm in the mountain lake. For ocean fish, we're starting off with a tuna, 6am to 7pm, tilapia, 6am to 2pm, Red snapper 6 am to 7 pm while it's raining only. For the specialty bundle, we have the pufferfish 12 pm to 4 pm found in the ocean during sunny weather. Wood skip can be caught in the pond in the secret woods anytime. Sandfish can be only caught in the desert pond 6 am to 8 pm, so for this you need to have the bus unlocked in order to catch it. And if you missed it in spring, you can also try to get the ghost fish in the mines floor 20 or floor 60 anytime. So those are all of the fish that you will need to catch for the bundles for the summer season. Most of these you can catch even in the spring, but giving you a second chance to be able to catch them can be really awesome. Now we're up to foraging, and here it will be a bit more relaxing. You should focus on getting all of the forageable items for the community bundle, in order to complete it for this season as well. The rest of the forageable items you can plant or just craft them into wild seeds and just sell them for the extra profit. You need to remember, from the 12th to the 14th of summer there will be extra forageable items on the beach, so don't forget to go there then. This can earn you a nice amount for just an easy walk. And if you didn't get access to the secret woods before summer, you can upgrade the axe to a steel one and open up the way by chopping down the big stump in the way next to the traveling merchant. Here you can get some extra hardwood and forageable items, which can get you a decent income. You also get access to old man cannoli, which will be needed in the fall season. The secret woods is a really important area, mostly for the hardwood it gives you. You get 12 pieces of hardwood daily from that area, so it's really important to go to the secret woods every day in order to farm all of those, since hardwood will be really important later on. So that's it for all of the categories you need to focus on for the summer season. I will now talk about some of the goals you should have towards the end of the season and what you would need to focus on then. My main advice is not to spend money towards the end of the season, since you would need that starting capital for the fall season in order to start with even more crops. If you didn't manage to build a barn in the first season, you can also make it in the summer season but the barn is really important due to the pigs. The pigs are a money maker in Stardew Valley, with the truffles they produce, but the main reason is that you need one truffle for the community center, and if you're aiming to complete it in your year one, you will need to have some mature pigs before winter kicks in, since they won't be able to find truffles otherwise. The barn upgrades go as follows. The first barn is 6000 gold, 350 wood and 150 stone. The second barn, 12,000 gold, 450 wood and 200 stone. And the third barn upgrade is 25,000 gold, 550 wood and 300 stone. In total you would need around 10,000 gold for the fall seeds, get the first house upgrade so you unlock cooking, make a big coop and a big barn, tool upgrades which are a must in the summer season and depending on the level they are they can set you back a lot. All in all, I would suggest trying to get around 80 to 19,000 gold in the summer season, which can be spent on future upgrades and more, but that will all depend on your playstyle and luck as well.
And now for some miscellaneous info, which is like, there are two holidays in the summer season, which are the Luau on the 18th and the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies on the 28th. The Luau is the important festival, since adding an ingredient in the potluck affects how much French and points you would get with the villagers. The best and easiest items you can put in the potluck is a gold cauliflower, a gold catfish, a gold chanterelle or a golden super cucumber. All of these will get you around 150 friendship points with the villagers and you can buy a few decorations from Pierre there including a starfruit. Not that it's important at all though. And the other festival is just an ending festival for the summer season, with nothing special going on there. I hope this guide could help you out a bit in your playthrough, since Stardew Valley can be a bit overwhelming. If you found this video helpful, please consider putting a like and subscribing to the channel since it helps me out a lot. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. But till then, stay safe!